killing in war and the effects it has on a soldier. It is important to note that the experience of killing an enemy in combat can vary widely from person to person, and each soldier may have a unique response to the situation. However, some common emotional and psychological reactions have been reported by soldiers who have killed in combat. Firstly, soldiers may experience a range of intense emotions immediately after the event, including shock, disbelief, fear, anger, and even exhilaration. Some soldiers have described feeling a sense of relief or satisfaction after killing an enemy, particularly if they perceived the enemy as a threat to themselves or their comrades. However, these initial reactions can be followed by more complex and long-lasting emotional responses. Many soldiers have reported feeling guilt, shame, and remorse after killing an enemy, even if they believed that they were acting in self-defense or in defense of their country. Some soldiers may experience symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, such as flashbacks, nightmares, and avoidance of situations that remind them of the killing. In addition to these emotional reactions, soldiers may also experience moral and ethical conflicts related to taking another person's life. Some soldiers may question the morality of killing, even in the context of war, and struggle with feelings of guilt and shame. It is important to note that soldiers who have killed in combat may also experience a range of physical and cognitive symptoms, including difficulty sleeping, appetite changes, and difficulty concentrating. These symptoms can persist for months or even years after the event. In conclusion, killing an enemy in combat can elicit a complex and wide-ranging set of emotional, psychological, and physical responses in soldiers. It is important to provide support and resources to soldiers who have experienced combat-related trauma, including those who have killed in the line of duty. The initial emotional response that soldiers experience after killing an enemy can vary depending on the situation and the individual. Some soldiers report feeling a sense of relief or even euphoria after taking out a threat. Others may experience a sense of shock or disbelief at the reality of what has just happened. For some, the experience can be overwhelming and may trigger intense feelings of fear, anger, or sadness. However, the aftermath of the event can be even more challenging for soldiers. Many soldiers report experiencing guilt, shame, and regret after killing an enemy. These feelings can be particularly intense if the soldier has taken the life of someone who was not an immediate threat or who was perceived as innocent, such as a civilian or a surrendering enemy combatant. Some soldiers may also struggle with the moral and ethical implications of killing another person, even in the context of war. They may question whether the action was justified or whether they could have found an alternative solution to the situation. These conflicts can be particularly difficult to navigate for soldiers who hold strong religious or moral beliefs that conflict with the act of killing. These emotional and psychological reactions can have long-lasting effects on soldiers. Some soldiers may experience symptoms of PTSD, such as flashbacks, nightmares, and hypervigilance, as a result of the trauma they experienced. Others may struggle with depression, anxiety, or substance abuse. Some soldiers may even struggle with suicidal thoughts or behaviors. In addition to these emotional and psychological impacts, soldiers who have killed in combat may also experience physical symptoms, such as difficulty sleeping, changes in appetite, and chronic pain. It is important to note that the experience of killing an enemy in combat can be different for every soldier. Some soldiers may not experience any negative effects, while others may struggle significantly. Providing support and resources to soldiers who have experienced combat-related trauma, including those who have killed in the line of duty, is crucial for their recovery and well-being. One common emotional response that soldiers experience after killing an enemy is a sense of dehumanization. Soldiers are often trained to view their enemies as targets or threats, rather than as human beings with families and loved ones. However, taking another person's life can shatter this sense of detachment and remind soldiers of the humanity of their enemy. Another common emotional response is a feeling of loss of innocence. Soldiers may feel that they have crossed a moral or ethical boundary by taking another person's life, and that they can never return to their pre-combat state of mind. Some soldiers may also experience a sense of moral injury, which refers to the psychological and spiritual distress that can result from actions that violate a person's moral or ethical beliefs. 
Moral injury can cause feelings of shame, guilt, and self-condemnation, and can be particularly difficult to reconcile with for soldiers who hold strong religious or moral beliefs. Soldiers who have killed in combat may also experience survivor's guilt, which is a common response to traumatic events. In the context of combat, soldiers may feel guilty for having survived when their comrades did not, or for having taken another person's life while others did not. Finally, soldiers may experience a range of physical symptoms as a result of the stress and trauma of combat. These can include chronic pain, fatigue, headaches, and gastrointestinal problems. It is worth noting that not all soldiers who have killed in combat will experience negative emotions or psychological symptoms. Some soldiers may feel a sense of pride or accomplishment for having completed their mission successfully. However, for many soldiers, the experience of killing an enemy can be a traumatic and life-altering event, and it is important to provide support and resources to help them cope with the emotional and psychological impact. Please like, comment and subscribe.